Hey, what's going on everybody? I want to make a quick video for you today to give you an update on all things USBs. Uh, quick update on the channel as well. Appreciate all the support guys. I know I haven't been super active lately. I just had a baby, or my wife had a baby. <laughs> um, so we've been pretty busy around here, uh, you know, getting the house ready and taking care of the baby and trying to sleep and things like that. But yeah, quick update for you guys on the first, I guess we'll start with the newest USB that I created, the Ultimate USB version 2, which again guys, prove me wrong, this is the greatest USB ever made. It's fast as hell, it's jam-packed with everything you'd ever want, including a full arcade, all kinds of operating systems, 56 in 1, persistence, fully installed OS's, Tiny 11. I could go on for a long time about this. If you can't tell, I'm just slightly proud of it, and I really do consider this the greatest USB to ever have been made and offered up for sale. So, and I've searched the internet frontwards, backwards, left, right, upside down. I haven't found anything close to it, but hey, prove me wrong. Let me know if you find something out there better. And if you do, I'll have to top that, but I don't think you will because I have the greatest USB ever made. So let's start with that one. I bought 23 of these high performance 3.2 Gen 2 USB drives, they call them portable SSDs. It has a USB A and a C interface, excuse me. So it has both uh, two in one, USB C and USB A. 3.2 Gen 2, high performance, kicks ass. Uh, I bought a couple to start with, wanted to test them out, and then I bought everything that the reseller had. And I thought, okay, I've got 23 of these. Let me see how good they sell, and then I'll buy some more if I need to. Well, long story short, I bought 23. I've already sold 22. So thank you guys for your support. Thank you for purchasing them, and I'm glad to hear a lot of positive feedback on them. You guys seem to really like it. Um, I've got a lot of good comments and feedbacks via email. So thank you guys. I really do appreciate all the support. And if you bought one, thank you guys so much. And consider yourself lucky because this brand here, I don't think I can get it anymore. I've searched the entire internet. I can't find anything from this company selling this particular drive anymore. So I don't know if they're out, they can't find chips or whatever the case may be. Uh, this is a solid drive. It's all metal. The cases on the, the lids on the sides are both metal. It's very slick, um, but again, it's sold out. So I didn't want to stop selling it because you guys obviously like it. And I, again, think it's the greatest USB ever made. So I had to figure out a way to keep selling them and hopefully not have to jack up the price. So did a whole bunch of Googling, searched Amazon, eBay, all that good stuff. Ended up finding a couple. I tried them out. First one was No Bueno. The second one is pretty badass. So this is made by Transcend. This is their... ESD 310 portable SSD. This is a 3.2 drive, and the performance benchmark is on the screen. Uh, if you guys can't tell, I'm in my garage right now, so I'm on my laptop. It actually performed a little better than this on my desktop because uh, I have a beast desktop that I built myself. But either way, um, this performance is comparable and even a little bit better again on my desktop than this drive. So I'm very pleased to find a new. Uh, option so I can keep selling the ultimate USB version 2, the greatest USB ever made, that is, to you guys. And again, thank you guys for the support. This drive is a little more expensive. It's about $7 more per unit, but I'm going to eat that cost for right now anyway. We'll see how things go, but I'm not going to jack up the price on the ultimate version 2 because I want to continue to give you guys that great experience at that same cost. Um, if this one comes back in and I can get it and it's $7 cheaper than this one, I'll probably go with that. Even though right now I'm a little more of a fan of this Transcend Drive. couple reasons. Uh, one is the packaging comes in a nice box. Inside of that box, we have a hard plastic enclosure case with a top and a bottom. So this snaps off. Sorry, this snaps right off. And then here is our Transcend Excuse me, guys. Don't worry. This is a prototype. <laughs> this is our Transcend 3.2 drive. We've got USB-A. I'm sorry, USB-C. And we've got USB-A. So very slick. This is metal. The case is actually metal. All these high-performance drives, if they're any good, they usually come in metal. That's to help with the heat because these things can warm up if you're doing a lot of writing and reading. Um, and these plastic or these cases for the A and C interfaces are hard plastic. Like I said, the other ones are metal, so I will give a notch up to, to the other brand on that. I can't pronounce this. It doesn't have enough vowels in it, but 
Thekalar, something like that. Uh, very good drive as well. Uh, those are metal, so th I'll give the notch up to that one. But this new one is very solid as well, the Transcend Drive. Um, I have not put the image on there yet for the version 2, for the Ultimate version 2. But just looking at the benchmark here, I guarantee you it's going to kick ass. It's going to perform as well, if not better, than the old drive. Excuse me, guys. I had to get some coffee in there. And once I do that, uh, if you guys head over to my shop, bootableusbs.com, you'll see there's only one left in stock. That's because this is literally the last one that I have. Um, so this is probably going to sell out in the next couple days. But as long as the testing of the image on this particular drive works well, I will order a bunch more of these and get that inventory stock back up for you guys right away. Again, thank you guys for the positive feedback on the drive. A lot of you guys are saying how much you like it, how well it performs. Um, I've got a lot of good kudos, so thank you guys. I spent a lot of time designing that and testing it, so I really appreciate the positive feedback. It means a lot. Another update for you guys. If you've been to my shop, you know I have six total selections. One of those being the version 2, which is the greatest USB ever made. That comes on this killer 3.2 portable SSD drive, which is ultimate, ultimate USB right here, guys. This is the one. If you have the money, buy this one. Trust me. It's the goat of USBs. That's a 256 gig. I have three options which come in 128 gig flavor, those being the ultimate USB version one, the ultimate cybersecurity arsenal or ultimate cybersecurity USB, and then I have the ultimate persistent USB. Those three all come in 128 gig uh, USBs. Those would be USB 3. A lot of them have been on Cushion drives. I've tried a couple different flavors of drives. Uh, the vast majority have been sent out to you guys on Cushion. This is a solid drive. Very good product for the price. Uh, this is better than like a Kingston or you know something like that. And the I'm sorry what I was trying to get at here guys was they're on a 128 USB 3 USB A only right now. I have a handful of these in stock still, so I'm going to sell these um, to deplete the inventory of that type of drive. However, amongst my scouring the internet for an alternative for the greatest USB ever made, the 3.2 drive, the version 2, um, I found some alternatives for a comparable price to the Cushion A only 3.0. I found a Cushion A and C, which has these nice little plastic covers as well. Same manufacturer, same speed and performance. You just now get the A and C interfaces. So this is really cool. You can plug it into your phone. You can use you know use it on a Mac, whatever. Uh, obviously, a better drive just because of the versatility with the interfaces having both A and C. So from now on, as long as I can get these for that price, I will continue to purchase these. And once the I think a handful of them left of these is depleted. I will only be sending out the 128 options on these drives with the A and the C. So that's a, a level up. No price increase on any of the drives, guys. I'm leaving them the same price for right now. Like I said, I'm going to take the hit on switching to this from this. It's about 7 bucks. I'll just take that out of my profit. Not a big deal. Um, like I said, I want to continue giving you guys that experience. Another cool thing on that 3.2 drive, guys. I know I, I should have did this at first when I covered this, but the Transcend Drive has a five-year warranty. So as long as I can fit this in the mailbox where I ship these out, I put them in a little mail slot so I don't have to drive up to UPS or the post office every time I sell one. Um, as long as I can fit that in the packaging that I use. If you guys have bought one, you know I put it in a poly, and then I bubble wrap inside of the poly, and then I bubble wrap again the USB. So I'll probably use a poly a bubble wrap envelope and then I'll stick this inside of that bubble wrap envelope as long as that all fits and I think it will through that slot um, I'll include the box the hard plastic covering packaging and the manual and that five-year warranty as well so I think it's a better product it, like I said it does cost a little more but if I'm giving you guys a better experience and a better product at the end of the day I'm okay with that you know I'll lose. I'll eat a few bucks on the profit. That's not a big deal to me. Okay, so that's the Gen 2. We talked about the 128 options, getting a little bit of an overhaul there. We're just talking strictly hardware right now, guys. And then 
We have two options for the 64 gig flash drives. That's the Linux Lovers Library and the Hacker's Delight. Um, both solid products. Those are the cheapest ones on the site. You can pick either one up for 20 bucks. Uh, those for now will continue to be shipped on a USB-A only. It'll be 3.0 but it will be USB-A only for now. I will search and see if I can find a similar alternative like I did to the 128s and get you guys an A and a C interface for those 64 gig drives. Um, what else did I want to talk about? I wanted to talk about the drives as far as the software goes. So the images that go on these drives um, obviously get outdated, excuse me, they get outdated over time. So after New Year's, I figured, okay, New Year, Let's update everything. So I downloaded all the newest versions. Like for instance, the Ultimate USB version one has 46 images. If it had a newer one, let's say like Linux Mint, it had been updated since I first built it. So I put the new version on there. I rinsed and repeated that same process for everything on that drive. And you now have the latest version. I did that across all my drives, the cybersecurity, the Linux lovers, you name it. I updated all the images. So you're not having these, you know, year old images on there. You've got the latest ones for 2024 as things sit today. However, if you're in IT, even if you're not, a lot of people know this, you get a newer version of something, especially in Linux. They add update packages, things like that. Adds a little bit of overhead on the capacity. So what happened was... That Ultimate USB version 1 was already jam-packed. I mean, literally pretty much taking up the whole drive because um, I try to maximize the use for you guys, uh, especially on that one because it was the original GOAT, the version 1 Ultimate. Um, long story short, it went from 46 images to 45 because the images got bigger. So what I did, I just took a single um, image out of the server category. It's one of the more, I don't remember which one right up top. I don't know if it was ClearOS or Neth server, one of those. Took it out, uh, like like I said, more obscure one, not a lot of people use it, so it's 45 and 1. I'll get all that information updated on the website here soon. It still says 46 and 1, but technically now it's 45 and 1. But again, guys, if you haven't bought a USB from me, I use Ventoy for the, the grub loader, and the beauty of that is this isn't a lockdown product, right? You get it. I think they're great how I send them out, but I also think they're great because you guys have complete flexibility to customize these things. So if you get 46 images and you only like 30 of them, you can delete the other 30 or however many, 16, excuse me, can't do math, more coffee. <laughs> but I hope you get what I'm saying, right? You can delete, add, modify, update, whatever you want on these drives. They're not locked down. So they're fully customizable. Yes, I'm a Packers fan, guys. So sorry, Niners fans. I was glad you lost. Just saying. You guys always kick us out of the playoffs, so whatever. I digress. So anyways, guys, that's the update I had for you guys on the shop. I wanted to let you guys know that if you head over to the shop in the next few days and you see this version 2, the greatest USB ever made, let's have a debate again, guys. I really think this is the GOAT of USB drives. If you head over there and you see that there's only one left or that it's sold out because chances are in the next few days it's going to be sold out. I've already sold 22 of these things and I've only had it up for, I don't know, a few weeks. Um, just rest assured, guys, I am working on getting that new one going. I don't put anything up unless I have tested it myself and I am pleased with the performance and the functionality. If I wouldn't use it, then I'm not going to sell it to you guys, so... Just rest assured, I'm going to have something that works here, and I'll get that inventory stock back up, hopefully within the next three, four days. Um, I'll test this out today. As long as it works good, I'll put in an order for probably 10 of these or so, and then I'll get that inventory back up. So let me know what you guys think. Um, again, let's talk about this USB, guys. If you have one, let me know your feedback. Like I said, some of you guys, thank you. You've already given me really good, positive feedback on the drive, so I really appreciate that. Uh, I gave one away as well, so congratulations to the winner of that. Um, maybe you let us know what you think. You know, you got it for free, so hopefully you like it. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up so it's not too long, but again, just want to let you know that um, I'm going to be making more videos. Like I said, I just had another kid, so it's been a little hectic over here. Uh, we're potty training one. I've, I've got a dog. I'm trying to potty. Well, he's potty trained. Had to build him a gate and stuff like that, so he's a handful, though, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, we've been a little busy. I'm not trying to make excuses. This channel is not going anywhere. I've got more good content coming. I've been trying to do some things with uh, automation on shorts. They're not performing very well, so I may just pull the plug on that. Um, get back to what I do, the how-tos, the instructionals, the reviews, things like that. So 
more stuff coming, guys. More good stuff coming soon, I promise. I might have to come out in the garage to make my videos, but I'm cool with that. It's not too cold out here, so otherwise you're going to have screaming kids in the background and maybe a dog too. So, All right, guys, head on over to www.bootableusbs.com. Check out the latest product and check everything else too. I've got puzzles. I've got coffee mugs. I've got socks, stickers. You name it, I've got it. So hope you guys are all having a great day. Until the next one, take care, guys.